Johnny Cage. And the top right in the red trunks. The Night Elf is dice. And let's quickly get into the build here. Todd, what's going on? This is a neutral hero build. Fast, barracks. I haven't seen this in forever. Yeah, this this whole Echo Isle pick may have been a giant trap for which dice actually fell for because he's Both opening Keeper and trying to creep attack. the Merc camp. But when I see this build, I'm thinking some sort of tower rush. Like, I don't know if it would be Naga or at least aggression. Maybe Naga, maybe Tinker. There's like a lot of possibilities. We've seen a little bit of everything in the past. And I'm very curious. Does he want to play aggressive? Does he want to expand with this? But yeah, he had... Johnny Cash had this very clear idea of going for a neutral hero going into Echo Isle here with his own pick. It seems like Dice has the best build, though, against a possible rush. He's got the Keeper, who's good on low levels. He's going to get level 2 right away. Pendant of Energy, which yeah. is sick with Moonwell region. And he's going to have that instant level 2 and Merc Camp access. But Johnny is picking the Panda. One of the stars of the new patch received plenty of buffs. And going for Merc Camp creep first. Man, I... I'm not sure if I've ever seen something like this before. Like, Chimiko sometimes played Panda first, I think, from what I saw, but... Yeah, where did, where did he get this strat from? Maybe Jim Discord. There's a lot of talks <laughs> about the Panda there, man. It's Actually, the Panda is, like, really still, I think, to this moment, underestimated. It's so strong now with uh, the increased damage on the Breath of Fire and uh, Drunken Haze. That's the Ring of Regen. The problem with this kind of build by Johnny Cage is that if you adjust to it really well, it's going to be very hard for the panda to be effective. There's so many things you can do, you know, like Dice could go Demon Hunter second. He could go Mass Hunt yeah. and then all in if Johnny Cage expands, which is supposed to be what you go for here. And then after, like, if that happens, what do you even do? Like, I think you just die. There's almost no way to defend. But his goal is to get level three quickly. Clarities is also one of those things that I think is very underestimated. They are so awesome. They are so damn good. Absolutely, it's going to be all about the mana. The panda, very strong spellcaster if he gets the levels. Not going for Drunken Haze, but rather the passive, Drunken Brawler. I like that. Especially in the early game, he's not going to have too much mana to work with. He wants to be very mana efficient. And that passive is going to be quite beneficial in uh, all situations. He's been dodging a few attacks here and there, critting a bit. It's not the best passive of all time, but it's pretty decent, you know. And he's going to get level 3 right here. And this Ring of Region, I can already see it. He's going to get a lot of value this game. A player's force is yeah, I mean, attack. you're supposed to attack the panda. You can't just ignore him. He's going to wreck you if you do. You can buy boots to chase down those mercenaries, but now Keeper shows up on the other side. And the Shadow Priest already used a lot of its mana, but now he has only one single Abolish. Okay, if he uses that on one of the trans, you're supposed to entangle the Berserker, but it actually goes for the Shadow Priest for some reason. I think the Berserker might have been a better target. Gets surrounded. Can he break out? He oh, wow. Yes, that's up. Good staff, though. There's a lot of potential kills here for Dice. The Keeper with the level 2 Treants can put on a lot of pressure. Now he's almost out of mana, but it's still dangerous to bring in the Berserker. Guri, don't want to lose that Berserker. It's a lot, of, a lot of DPS for your army, and also lots of experience for the opponent. Johnny's selling the TP and going for the Boots, man. I love it. He's just, again, looking so confident. Yeah. Absolutely willing to take these fights and brawl. Selling the TP is kind of crazy, because later down the line, if you're out of position one time, and remember, he's playing with a fast expansion, or at least he's trying to, this could end up being super dangerous. It's so awesome for Dice to find his pennant as well, by the way. Like, when he finally goes home, he's going to be able to replenish. Imagine yeah. if he gets back to 444 mana. That's just so much instantaneous damage, even though you're supposed to buy the Forest Troll Shadow Priest all the time, so that you can keep on using Abolish. I think the Panda should be chasing the Keeper here, probably, because Keeper has no boots. Keeper's gonna walk it back to the main, and this is, I think, looking a lot better for Dice, right? His expansion is finished already, and Tangled now coming up. The Town Hall only now starting, and especially tech-wise, the Nile is far, far ahead. However, Lumber for Johnny's looking pretty good. He can follow up with a tech of his own soon. But how's he gonna get mana back on the panel now? That's always the big problem, right? Once you run out of mana, similar to yeah. MK, it's really hard to replenish. That's what clarities are for, but because of how many peasants he lost, now everything's late. The tech now finally starts, not too bad, around 2 a.m. it is. And uh, yeah, he needs a shop shortly after that. I think Johnny Cage wanted to buy a, a staff, but he wasn't reloaded yet. Like, he was still on cooldown in the merchant, so he ended up just going across the map. And 
Honestly, it should only ever be a Demon Hunter second. If you wanted to try to outheal the Panda, maybe you could go Alchemy second as well with Healing Spray, but I think Demon Hunter second should be his best choice here. If it's a Demon Hunter, which I agree, seems pretty likely. Is Blood Mage second a consideration, or what do you even go for when you play Panda first? Well, the thing is, if you want to play with any sorts of casters, you have to go Archmage second for all rights. It's a must. So, usually Archmage second will be the standard here. I mean, technically, if you wanted to go Mass Rifles and then just a few priests for this spell and then synergize that with Abolish from the Mercenaries, you could maybe go Blood Mage second, but... I mean, it might even be a panda, like a single panda out of this, out of Jolly Cage. With the way he's playing right now, the guy went panda first on Echo then sold his TP. Like, I don't dare to predict what he's going to do next. And he's seeing the altar here being active, so he must know it's a Demon Hunter coming in, so he can already get ready mentally to prepare for this Demon Hunter in whatever way he sees fit. Also, he canceled the lords, which was a really nice play, and he's draining a lot of moon juice over here. There's like almost no moon juice left, and daytime is about to hit. Yeah. But there is a shop already for dice, which is very, very smart. So he can start using some Moonstone, some Clarities as well himself. The Panda will be securing that Berserker kill. That'd be nice for dice to sack this. Maybe he can at the Merchant, but he's not trying to go there. Okay, is he? He's gonna breath if he tries to deny, probably. Where's that crit, man? I'm waiting for it. With a stick. Big hit with a stick, boy! And... No crits. Where are the crits at, bro? Yeah, he had some before, but it's only level 1 uh, Drunken Brawler. He'll have to wait. For the shouting drunk kung fu. More mercs for Johnny. He bought like three rounds of Berserker and Shadow Priest. This was really expensive. Reminds me of Sonic, who oftentimes loves spamming those. Seems like he wants to keep up the pressure, but it's pretty hard to do against the Keeper, who's still looking pretty strong. And he's going for more mercs! Mud Golem on the left side, more trolls. Just keep, wants to keep fighting. What a he's chance. Going castle. He's going castle! What is this, Todd? I, I, I don't know. This is... <laughs> what is this build? Yeah, this is a sick build. But I worry for him because Demon Hunter being out, that's going to be Mana Burn being very consistent. The expansion was so early as well by Dice. Oh, tanks, right? Bit... Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. So I think he's basically... He forced... He forced his opponent to go into a Demon Hunter second. What does that mean? That means he's not going Panda second. And ideally, if you see that your opponent's going tanks, you'd want to get a panda second. So there is a chance he gets panda third, but you know, breath level one, not that amazing. And yeah, right now dies. He just got the triple workshop of Johnny Cage, and he's probably like, all right, this is. How dare you go for this against me? Let's stop it there by John. He crept the shop and lost two mercenaries. He lost the Shadow Priest, which is kind of valuable for this spell, and the Mud Golem as well, which is really good at the moment for slow, but I guess Dryad. The spell is going to be available soon, and the panda just going to start breathing these moon wells. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, he's looking for wisps. If there was like a two or three wisps stacked together, you can just breath. It's totally worth. It's going to be hard for him to get level five, but he could definitely creep the small green camp at the top, it's like just some units and militia maybe. And the important thing is for Johnny Cage to keep upgrading. You want to get plus two as quickly as possible for your uh, siege engines before they're even out. And for Dyes, he needs to get a bunch of Ancient of Wars to help defend like all of his buildings. So maybe like 2 or 3 in the Expo, 2 or 3 in the main. You can add some talents. That's why we're seeing an Ancient of Wind here. There's no Zeppelin on this map. So this is not going to be, you know, it doesn't need Fairy Dragons. It doesn't need a Hippo. 132 crits on that Dryad. And that Ring of Region, man, still being valuable. This panel is not taking much damage. Even a couple of misses here and there. But the D-Mana was creeping in the meantime. Close to level 3 now. His mana burn is going to be very effective. And I certainly know what's going to be, knows what's going to be happening here. He sees the workshops, he knows exactly what's in store. And these archers and drives don't do the most piercing damage, but at some point Johnny's going to have to deal with this, I guess. He created a critter for 141 damage. <laughs> That's awesome. I think Panda could actually die, by the way. Like, eventually, if uh, if Dice gets a surround without a tangle, then he has a tangle to cancel staff. So he actually needs to be really careful when he sees the army coming, ever. And I gotta say, this Panda is looking, of course, super cool, but not so sure about the effectiveness of it yet. But the Fire gets two Wisp kills, all right. He's getting a lot of bonus experience as well, right? We have to keep that in mind. He's solo hero tier three, is something that's usually reserved for a Warden only. <laughs> But this time we have it with a panda. Yeah. I just don't know how he's supposed to get five as long as Dice is like pretty careful. 
Ice could get boots on his demon and just chase this panda around. He's looking for a big mana burn here. Let's see if he can get it. Extra enchanted force in the main. Good reaction so far from dice, but against this type of strategy, all it takes is one mistake. You're out of position for one second. You lose like slightly too many buildings. You're in a world of trouble. Dice is diving the main base. I don't think that's a good idea. There's a guard tower there. And I mean, surprisingly, there is no masonry, even though Johnny Cage is pretty damn rich. Nice heal scroll there, healing everything up again. And probably not, too, not enough towers in the main. Was a little uh, stingy there with only two towers for the longest time. But the tanks are rolling. And these three tanks will have to be addressed. And Johnny Cage is still very rich, so losing some economy in the main right now, I guess, is recoverable. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't have masonry, though. That have helped a little bit, for sure, because these towers are getting attacked. Militia now also being attacked. He needs to send some peasants from the expo. He doesn't even necessarily have to remake a bunch just yet. And yeah, those tanks, they reach the opponent's base with plus two attack. That's a lot of damage. And through th some dried kills, the panda finally got level five, but still doesn't have enough mana. Shop is at the south at the expo, but can't quite get there at the moment. All right, here we go. Moonwell's starting to be getting taken out. Two upgrades, as you said. But upgrades halted for now. Yeah, you could start armor. Getting plus three attack also, like, it's pretty awesome. If you can get, like, you know, even just six tanks with plus three attack, these guys are absolutely Ooh. butchers. Ooh, that was a big breath. If you can get level six, he might actually engage. Oh, he's getting oh, he dead now. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. to go for... Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's definitely dead. Oh, that staff being on cooldown, that hurts right now. One... Oh, wait, where's the mud golem? The mud golem didn't follow him. Muddy, wake up. Oh, there's oh. a mud golem slightly above this for dice uh, near the near his shop. And he actually runs out of mana and the panda oh doesn't goodness. have much mana that can be stolen. He's gonna escape. Brrr. Stressful Left. moments right here. Yeah. Of course, lots of things happening everywhere. High APM required here to have multi-screen action online. This is always where I would terribly fail because I'm a slow boomer. So we'll see how fast these guys are at multi managing multiple screens. Tanks at the expo taking out the engine of lore. And that's a bit more experience as well, right? Every Ancient of Lore or Ancient of War is 25 XP multiplied yeah. by the tier 3 bonus, so he might get to level 6 indeed. He has to go ultimate. Oh, he's oh, tapping the, the panda to one of the tanks! Oh! This smart is the whole point of this strategy. He's gonna Breath of Fire. Oh my goodness. Oh my god! But now he might be dead. He has to run. Run, run, run. Not dead, man. He's going full Usain Bolt on these units. <laughs> he's already out of there. And there's no wish for repairs of this Tree of Life. Is it going down? Oh, it's close. It's close. If only he could entangle these siege engines. Oh my god, that was the last hit! Only one tank wouldn't have enough, had enough DPS to kill this the one. Main, the main, oh, the main! He's gonna What's going to panda. On? The panda is invis. Oh my god, it's the wish repair when the panda gets there. <laughs> I actually think he kills the main and gets level 6. Oh my god, it's a crazy game, dude. Oh, dude! These wisps. Oh my god. Get ready, god. boys. No. Roasty, toasty. Roasty, toasty, but oh, this tank is getting blocked away. Look at the XP. Look at the XP. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. He's oh. gonna get six almost guaranteed now. This is a very fun game. Now, not for dice, but yeah. uh, for everyone else. I think dice re misreacted. He, he needed to make uh, just on 50 supply, get like some more enchant or four, some talent. One talent per base can make a world of difference. And he had that panda kill for sure, I think, if he chases with the uh, Muddy. He could have bought a mana pot as well for the Keeper to make sure he had more entangles. Yeah. Now, honestly, when I look at this, the main's not even mining, the expo is like, it's dead for dice. He has no looks, bank, he's on 40 it supply. Looks it, it looks checkmate, over. Bro. And yeah, tanks give a lot of experience, but not enough have fallen yet. And yeah. honestly, the only big difference here would be level six demon. And that's so far away. Oh my God, Eight the main's He's gonna this lose the main, it. the panda. The panda's dead, that's level six, by the way, if he kills that. And I Hell think he's yeah. gonna get it. There's nothing to repair, there's no gold for dice. Oh, and he taps out. <laughs> Not satisfied with that game. And Johnny Cage takes the 1-0 in the most unconventional of ways. Panda solo <laughs> tanks. He's popping off. He's popping off big time. I guess that's the first time I've seen this by Johnny. He looked really concerned at the beginning, but yeah, super pumped now. Yelling across <laughs> the entire room. He uh, looked behind him after shouting. I'm pretty sure somebody <laughs> gave him a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over there? I want to watch my movie. 
<laughs> He's like, do you know what just happened? I just won a game with Panda first on Echo against <laughs> Seriously. Echo. Yeah, that's a, movie. <laughs> that's a thing, right? Like, it, on all the patches and like the 1.2x times, you face tanks all the time. But if you're starting only like a year or two ago, then th this might not be in your repertoire to, def uh, to defend this perfectly. Yeah, you have to be clean with your defense, you have to be ready, you also have to be scouting to see where the tanks are going, and then you have to have your army spread, bears and ancients of wars between the bases, and you have to kind of grind out the human, not lose too much, keep killing tanks, and with that, get out of control with hero levels oftentimes, but... Was the Demon Hunter the right choice, or should he have gone maybe Panda himself, but then you don't have mana burn? Yeah. It seems like it's it's a rough choice either way. That was yeah, a... I think. Sorry, go ahead. It's about details. It's about details with like uh, having some APs can help, you know, a tucked in AP that can shoot actually does a lot of damage to uh, siege engines. What? And it's about the first few defenses. If you get the first few defense on like the first wave of like three and three tanks, you're looking at a very different game because you get a lot of XP and then your economy doesn't completely get wrecked. But now, as soon as he started losing a lot of wisps and histories, it's the beginning of the end. Wait, wasn't there also this crazy tank game from Johnny in your tournament, the new maps tournament on Shattered Exile? Or no, there was Starbuck, right? I, I think remember. that was Starbuck. I'm getting that mixed up, I'm afraid. Uh, but man, that was uh, rather refreshing. Rare that I would say that about tanks, but seeing them every now and then can be uh, quite a new experience. Yeah, and But uh... of course, Dice didn't enjoy this one. There are still people in this community, I can't believe it, that think that Echo Isle is not a good map. Once again, we see EI, and once again, it is a wonderful, super entertaining match. One of the best maps that we have in all of the map pools around the world. And now you're outnumbered here. You're outnumbered. What? I got some, te I got some technical difficulties from, from your don't, end. Don't try it. Todd don't... and I, we know that Echo Isle is trash. Well, 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 I got these guys muted. They have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, we have the two players, though. One and old lead for Johnny Cage would be back-to-back -back playoffs for the young human player. And Dice, he's facing elimination. He would follow his mentor, Neutron, into, uh, yeah, not the top eight, basically. I'm running out of words. Have fun with map two, boys. All right, we're starting off the day well. That was a pretty fun first game. Now we're on Amazonia. Todd, tell me, what do you think about this map and what do you think about Echo Isles? They're perfectly balanced. <laughs> I like the positivity, although there are certainly much better maps nowadays. This is also a remnant of a, a time gone by. When was AZ added to the pool? It was, of course, somewhat later right it was not the early early days of secret valley and uh, twisted and stuff it was like 2012 13 maybe did you play az when you were still you know active and a world champ and stuff no i, I don't right. think it was in the map pool yeah. well, but when i saw this, this map when i came back uh, to play some warcraft here i was like what is this you can't expand you get creep jacked everywhere you go get this map out of the map <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a difficult map, but to be honest, you can pull the creeps at the expansion. There is a lot of different things you can do. You kind of start on the... You, you start on level 2, which is very reminiscent of all Terran stand as well, you know, with this lab that you do very early on. Oh, the it's lab the, in the corner, dude. That was yeah, yeah. a long time ago. And Dice is playing Keeper again, and I think that's what Johnny Cage expected out of him. Once upon a time, Dice, I think that his uh, Warden was so scary. Everybody was like worried of it, much like of Sonic's Warden, but nowadays he's completely given up on that, it feels like. Yeah, hardly anybody ever plays Warden anymore. With Terranus out of the pool, that was of course the best map for it. Uh, even Lawline doesn't play too much anymore. Um, but yeah, this is also a map that, especially over on Netties, the Asians, would almost always veto from the human side and, and leave concealed in the pool. But Johnny has his own views and he prefers this map uh, to the alternative. Starting off with the ring, Agitome, and Mantle. All right, some good, some bad. And both creeping up to level two here quickly. How does Johnny play with somebody watching TV behind him? Even a clock ticking would bother me, like... Why is he not saying anything? He's, he's, got, that, he's, he's got that zen focus, you know? He's, he's like a martial artist. Unlike you, who stopped practicing a long time ago. 
Wow. <laughs> I got sorry. too real too fast. <laughs> 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 well, you know, one day you're going to get back into it and uh, you're going to become the new Cologne champion. Is there a, like an MMA scene in Cologne or something? Yeah, in Germany, actually, there is, uh, there's a lot of people that train. There is like two, multiple promotions and stuff. I've been to fights before. One of my, I have a friend with a guy that uh, does it professionally. Wasn't but, there like this German UFC fighter that Conor McGregor used to call a steroid head or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember his name. Let's get back to the game. <laughs> Wait, Dice is harassing before he got level 3. I guess he's counting on getting uh, how much he needed. Like maybe one, two peasants to get level 3. Yeah. yeah, fortunately he didn't even show up with four mana yet, so he needs one more. Alright, that's what he's gonna do kill. it. Can you deny? Can you deny? Oh, that was so close for the deny. Didn't now I commit to the one mental for extra damage. And now Johnny Cage, who went for the tower beforehand, is gonna be able to uh, start the expo, and I don't think that will be cancelled yet. There's no mana on the keeper. You're supposed to buy staff, staff home, and then run back to that area to harass a little more. All intently looking at the deny. There we go. He got it. Does that make you proud? For sure. You should be. Every time, every time somebody uh, denies a unit, I tip my hat to them in real life. Dude, you should buy a fedora. I think it would suit <laughs> you really well. <laughs> what the hell? What color should it be? Uh, I think it should I be think, pink. I think they only the... come in. It I should be pink, and black, every day I should put like a new emote, a new popular emote on it at the front. I, I think I've ever only seen them in, in black, though. If you go pink, like, you're already really extravagant with that hat, and then you go pink, it's like, what is this, carnival? <laughs> I would blend right in. You know, I love carnival. I've never been to Cologne Carnival yet. I would love to go with you one day, Todd, but I think you told me before you're not much into that stuff. Yeah. And by wait, by that do you mean setting up appointments with friends and then not showing up to them or <laughs> Okay, well... so Dice Dice is not expanding by the way. <laughs> Where's the tree? He's making more wisps. Dice, you have three hundred lumber. Like this is more than most cells would gather in a whole game. I'm a little bit surprised here. I just sold the big invul potion. That is what I call bold bold strategy cotton. We will see if it pays off. Gets a good scout off here. Not quite able to get the AOL cancel. Or maybe he is. AM showing up very speedy here with the boots. Also has a tele staff if needed. Oh, and that's a double cancel. It's on cooldown. The staff is on cooldown. One more second. Oh my god. Oof. This is such important damage by Johnny Cage. Seems to be one of his priorities when he plays against self. He already did it last game. Like played aggressive towards when uh, he knew the ancient of floors were going to go up. I think Dice might want to expand on location when his second hero is out. You see, he has the Enchant of War there. He's trying to intercept the Archmage, but there's the stuff. And he's so fast. If he gets a Vanillas around, though... Oh, almost. Oof. I'm going to force the staff. Uh, has his staff now. Ooh. All right. He's good. Double racks coming. Riflemen are... Coming in soon. I was looking for the blacksmith. It's over at the expansion. Kind of a weird position for the town hall, right? It's not right next to the trees. It's kind yeah. of in the middle. Bit weird. I think in this game, it's very straightforward. Like how uh, Johnny Cage can win this game. I expect a Blood Mage second. It's just so awesome against Demon Hunter. Any kind of Demon Hunter player. Wait, he makes the tree on the right side, even though he's creeping the expo already. What the hell? And yeah, he should go like one or two Sanctum. Just get some priests so he can... Peace pull the uh, trans and entangle, and then just do a push on the night elf expo, which you know is going to be there. Archers are dying. What is going on? And the footmen probably all going to fall here, but this is a valuable delay. Ancient of War might even be going down, and Johnny Cage just always finds these windows to do something. I feel like that's something that the top humans are really good at, even if they lost map control and if they're just working with a very small and weak army, they always find something to do, some damage to put in against oh night elf. Especially, we see that time and time again. The demon and the tree, man. They were trying to clear out the expo together. Blaming the rest of the team in chat. They almost got sent to low priority immediately. This is... Oh my god, he's oh good. What? Now that's toxic, Rogalin. What the hell? Poof to the head. That's just toxic. And the AM shows up again. Look at him. He's just... 
such an annoying little pesky, almost like a mosquito. But he's got a long beard. Oh, that TP. Oh my god, he doesn't use it. He's so greedy. I kept on talking about his confidence. Sometimes yeah, that can so turn greedy. into overconfidence. He's so far ahead in this game. He just had to double click TP. He's like, nah. I want to get out with the stuff like who do you need? It, I mean, I can I can respect it though. It would have been so swag if he just makes it back home, you know, 5 HP. The sunglasses drop down from the top. Thug life <laughs> keeps playing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know? He had all mapped out in his head already. But uh, yeah, sometimes... It's more likely he's going to make the Art of Warcraft highlights with this if he ends up losing. Which shouldn't happen. Yeah, he's still got the rifles. He's got the blue mage, as you requested. Double Sanctum. Do we have any sort of tier 3 for dice? Yes, we do. Halfway through. Bears coming in soon, potentially. We all know how strong they are. And the Demon are not looking too shabby either. If he gets a fast level 3, he can try to counterplay the Blood Mage. The way you do it is you wait for Siphon, then you use Entangle, and you use Mana Burn right on top of it. And it does kind of work out with the timings, but you do need level 3 Demon, which he should get in a moment. Dude, look at that tree making its way to the expansion. Looks like you after a night out trying to get home. He's like oh, exactly. balls for a second, he like looks around like, uh... He's gonna lay down in the hallway, take a nap there before you go to bed. That's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. Johnny Cage is saving gold. Oh my god. He's so greedy, honestly. Like He really doesn't need to. Especially because he's creeping. It would be so easy for him to go to like 80 supply regardless. And he might get engaged on 50 supply here against the 40 of dice before he has this spell. Okay, no, if this I was him, finish. I'm a little weasel. I would just TP out, but this is Johnny Cage, boys. You cannot measure his level of confidence. It is off the charts. So he's taking this fight and he's right to because, you know what? There's actually like no units here. He should give mana to the priest. Oh, he takes mana from the demon. He would have had one dispel immediately if he did that. Even two, all those trends. Perhaps it doesn't matter. Aura. And that Keeper, without Entangle right now, not looking too threatening anymore, eh? The rifles are coming out one by one, putting in lots of damage from range like Todd and PUBG. They got the sniper rifles, they got the scope. You know it. They're running around. Maybe they could look for some gear right here. Maybe there's a Kevlar vest hidden somewhere. Bit of vest 3 for the demon, can you imagine? Ooh. Evasion level 6? Sheesh! <laughs> 70% evasion. <laughs> it sounds like Footman Frenzy. I think that, that's what the board what it was like in Footman Frenzy. Alright, dice, you need to break up keep, buddy. Sell everything that's used less on 50. Yeah, there we go. Gets orb. But he don't have any gold yet from that expansion. He just started mining. I'm just looking so damn solid and looking a bit. Better today, gotta say. Here come the boys. Militia arrive. Would love to see a shop. Maybe some towers here as well. A single breaker. Can he steal something? Steal that reach roof, bro. Oh, no. Unfortunately not. Stopped in his tracks. Yeah, Dice just doesn't have nearly enough army here. He needs like three more bears and two more dryads, which he's not very close to getting because he has only one more bear in production. It is time, but Johnny Cage's way of not giving him time, because rifles are not that great at pushing into the tree, is to get towers. Once these towers go up, you have so much firepower, the, the opponent just cannot engage into you anymore. And so that is your way to a little bit. The towers. Pretty cool. Johnny just looking real solid. I mean, you know, the AM lost, that was a bit of a clowny move, but everything else has looked clean, man. Yeah. Clean. Unlike my apartment, looking real good. And these towers are going to be up soon. Clean, I mean, uh, I'm going to invite you. You're going to come by. You can judge it for yourself. I told you I don't reply to those empty promises anymore. I've been fooled once. Never again. Dude, the critters. There's don't, two critters. Don't you believe in second around? chances, Todd? No. Not yours. All right. <laughs> All right are getting close. <laughs> Wisps show up to try and uh, perhaps dispel the slow and also remove some mana from these casters. But the, one of the towers already finished. And there's not that much firepower to target the rest, and bears are gonna fall very rapidly. Yeah, this just seems a bit too much to handle. Honestly, with 65 supply now, dice not looking too bad. They are numerically going for the blood match, but the invul potion is there when he needs it. Still has the heal scroll. AM tanking a bit much, maybe. 
Here comes that heal straw, but a nice surround. This blood mage is gonna go down. However, at the end of the day, it was only level one hero. Johnny's still with a big army, and now three towers standing in just a moment. The shop back up here is wonderful, can spam those clarities, which especially Todd knows are so strong. It's a very sick save here, that, that last bear that got staffed. The problem is that because there was an arcane tower, because there's some breakers, so a lot of the mana was drained from this bear, so they cannot rejuve fully on all of them. Demon goes to buy something, maybe a scroll here before re-engaging Ace, even sold some items, and he's really trying to save that expo. I thought that by now he might sack it, but no, Thais really wants to save that. It has to be used early into the fight. Oh my god, this is the worst position ever for these bears to get into. Can't reach the rifles, really, they're getting shot by towers, but the demon is tanking the tower shots right now. That's pretty good, he's very tanky indeed. Could should perhaps be uh, targeted differently here by Johnny. Waiting for the Blood Mage to return. He's running over from the main. Demon level 4 becomes even more tanky and dice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He might be breaking this after all. I don't know. Like, Johnny Cage doesn't even have to really win that fight. And I think he will regardless. The towers are un untouchable at the back. And everything's going to be slowed eventually. Dryad's running out of mana. Johnny Cage, of course, having brilliance. His casters just keep re replenishing that to Break. slow everything all the time. Good movement from the bears, he anticipated that flame strike. Anti-magic demon running in, getting quickly dispelled, however. One bear goes down, and it's Archmage level 5. Aura or Watch Elemental, both would be really good. He's siphoning over some mana, which just gets burned. But... It seems to be enough here for Johnny to push through. He lost quite a few units, he lost some towers, he lost some peasants. But he still has those three towers in the back, as you mentioned. They are basically unkillable behind that shot. Uh, Dai's at 65 supply. I actually think he should have sacked the expo, maybe crept the merchant real quick, maybe even the red camp, and then try to get to 80. And then imagine if he attacks Johnny Cage's expo. There is only two towers there. He can kill the tunnel very quickly. But the problem is that Johnny Cage would then expand on Dai's expo up there and then attack his main base. But yeah, I, I do think that trying to defend one more time here was a mistake. When the towers are already set up like this, like Johnny Cage is not even kiting to its full potential either. He knows he's far ahead enough anyway. It looks like a 2-0. Indeed. Seems like Johnny's about to close this one out. Looking good once again here. And DreamHack is going to make his second top 8 run two seasons in a row. Johnny really is making more and more of a name for himself in Europe. If you don't know, if you didn't know him before, you certainly will now, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny, as I've been telling you, is so good. He's proving it here once again. And he was in a group with Happy here, remember? So if he advances, which is looking like it, he gets Foggy, X-Lord, or Blade. Yeah. Next. And he's got a 67% chance that he's going to be on the other side of the bracket compared to Happy. So that's pretty good. Maybe this time he can make it top four. Last time, quarterfinals is where his journey ended. Keeper. Oh, a little bit close here. Staffing out. Dice is still trying everything, of course. This is... The biggest tournament for him that he's basically ever played in. And again, it's in the lower bracket final. Again, it's one step away from uh, the desired top eight where he's going to be eliminated. Last season it was Sonic, and this time it's going to be Johnny. Oh, the bears. Half. Oh, he has two staff on the keeper. Give one to the demon. That's one of the bears. Faulty fall supply to 62. We can't blame Dice for not trying. He is uh, showing a true competitive spirit here. Still giving it his all in this game, which seems hopeless. Blood Mage about to hit level 3, by the way, which is going to be huge for the level 2 Siphon. A few more Dispels, and he's going to be there against the Treants. Some Sorcerers a bit too far up front. Even some Breakers going down, but in the end, it's going to be all Johnny. There we have the level 3 on the Blood Mage and just hardly any units left. Actually, a couple of bears come strike. in. We have four bears in the middle of everything. We haven't seen a flame strike ever. We did see one, but that one didn't really do damage. Maybe he thought he went banished or something. He could fall but yeah, some flame strikes could do damage. Oh, there it is. There we go. Again, not really hitting anything, but. He looks nice. Dead. Yeah. Fortunately for Dice, this looks like the end for him here. He uh, qualifies for the tournaments. But he meets some pretty strong players here and ends up falling, only beating Starshape. 